Hey everybody, Spoonvet here, and we're with the last mission of JavaScript, and I like this mission. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, there are two ways to, well, there are multiple ways, but I'm going to show you two ways uh, to uh, complete this mission. First being a very simple way, and the second one, we're going to uh, use that one to complete the mission. Right here, there is some encrypted text. As you can see here, it's encrypted for security reasons. Alright, so, here you can kind of see that everything is like a letter is one up as it were if you don't believe me you can go here you can go here and you can see here there's a B and then ISFG or in other words A and H ref all one up so you can decode this message by just by hand uh, and what will come out is this congratulations you've completed JavaScript 9 href uh, and then 4 you might think well there's a 4 there shouldn't that be a 3 well no because numbers are not included in in this uh, algorithm of what you want to call it because if you look here to the right you can see here 1800 and 80 meaning I have 1800 points and you have zero messages I think it's called there yeah no that's not zero uh, reputation is it so that's this is the URL that we need to go to so we can add that to this one and then call it a, a day complete but there's more there's always more uh, we need to unload this all because there's a lot going on alright so if you click the button what it will do is it will validate the value of text2 so the value of your username then admin the text value of your password and then a value a random value so validate this function validate it will do text1 text2 text3 text4 and you might think, well, there aren't any text 1, text 2, text 3, text 4. Well, that's just these correspond to those. So text 1 is the value of text 2, which is your username um, and admin. That's text 2. So here it says if text 1 equals text 2 or if your username equals admin, that's first. But a second notion needs to be true, and that's calc. The value of text 3 needs to be the same as this value that's behind this. Well, we can cheat a little bit because calc is a very, well, not, it's very complicated um, JavaScript file or function that um, does something with hex numbers and then stripping them down and um, making them into, well, basically these sort of strings. So what we can do is we can edit the HTML to remove this to read it like so well, now it says that uh, text 3 needs to be equal to text 4 in other words the value of text 1 the value of my password needs to be the same value as that one so copy that in there, we'll make this admin and then I'm gonna do it like so and here we see everything is being decoded now it will decode everything on this page and that will take quite a long while but I don't need to go there So uh, as you can see, so we're gonna click there and we have completed this challenge. JavaScript is not secure. No. Always validate on the server side. And that's true. Because you can edit JavaScript uh, in any number of ways. And in so doing, we could bypass the whole calc thing and just have it to read text equals to whatever the value was that it needs to be equal to. And then we were in. So that's it for JavaScript missions. 
uh, at least I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, we've done all the uh, well done all the JavaScript missions, so that's pretty cool. So we're on to uh, decryption, apparently. So 